open source. So current, uh, currently we have something like open questions. So does architecture make sense? Are we going in the right direction? So I believe Rust implementation is right, but who knows? Uh, so more complex question should be finally fabric manager represented as software daemon and which uh, fabric manager implementation makes more sense. Uh, so, and of course, do we really need open source implementation for, for example, fabric manager? Because this tool is clear, but fabric manager, like expecting that, for example, it will be a lot of, maybe not a lot, but as minimum several proprietary implementations. So what we can do in this case. So uh, this is something like, and for example, how probable will be the complex hierarchy of CXL switches because uh, every additional level adds something like latency. So how um, does it make sense at all? So this is something like questions that we have. So let's discuss. So um, you mentioned like is, is an open source implementation required? Like. Uh, I'm wondering, like, do you expect that this part will be, for example, bundled by some distributions to be shipped, like, for example, Red Hat operating system would be shipping it, or how would one actually go ahead and obtain that? Like, would it be downloaded from somewhere? So, currently, it's something like we're trying to start open source project. For example, we could have something like uh, Fabric Manager Daemon application, so you can start, you can get code from GitHub, compile, start, for example, it, you will have Fabric Manager Demon. The same with uh, something like configuration tool. So what will be then? First of all, we need to have CXL switch as a real stuff that we can test. But uh, we need to have uh, also some infrastructure to manage, to use, and so on. So this is something like really, really first step. Yeah, um, it would probably be rolled into a project like OpenBMC. Yeah, the, the Fabric Manager, I mean, it's it's been defined in a, a very general way that could mean anything um, to allow for uh, use in different um, types of applications, right? Like an uh, automotive system that requires a Fabric Manager is going to want it to look very different from a data center rack level manager, right? Um, I, uh, but in a data center type environment, it's probably going to be running on a BMC in a memory appliance, rack mount of memory appliance. Um, and the thought was, uh, it, yes, it would expose a Redfish interface to the outside world, and um, there would be some open source project that translates the Redfish into uh, the CCI level commands. Uh, I, I wonder, given the state of where the rest of the CXL management um, conversations are going, if that winds up being um, just an RDE pass-through, basically, so that the FM isn't actually doing any translation at all, because that brings with it the maintenance burden of keeping on top of the Redfish mapping and the CXL spec. Um, there's like an um, an RDE requirement pushed down to the, the, the switch or the multi-headed device so that, I mean, at that point, uh, I guess the, um, you, you could say that the embedded logic translating that RDE into um, actual device uh, management operations within the switch or the multi-headed device, that's the fabric manager. Um, but I, I don't know. But the, but the idea is that... Um, uh, the the real intelligence of the system is in the orchestrator. It's not in the fabric manager. It's really just a translation layer. Um, and yeah, it, it will need to be a distributed uh, approach, I, I think, definitely, if you're talking about racks of hardware. Um, but, but to the point of like getting an open source project off the ground and getting a, like a center of gravity going, like like focusing on QEMU, focusing on the aspects of it that we can do in a, in a, in a direct attached model first, because I think like DCD is going to be direct attached first, and switches switches are is like a I don't know when that's going to happen, but um, but like at least yeah like 
like if, if, if me as a, as a as a developer wanting to test kernel drivers and and Linux interactions, I'd, yeah, I'd I'd want to use an open source tool, and then maybe that gets you your your center of gravity. Well, oh, if, if people are using this for development, then and uh, and some somebody wants to do a proprietary extension, maybe they'll use this as their baseline, or or they'll say, wait, we don't, we don't even need to be proprietary here. Just put it into the common FM because, yeah, I. I, I would hope that there's nothing super value add about an FM. It's just mo moving the memory around the the, ar the, ar the architecture. So, um. uh, excuse me. So, um, basically, we are working on a similar thing right now. The difference is we are writing it in Go language. Uh, the question to Vincent is uh, for the Redfish implementation part. Uh, uh, there are specifications from uh, the MTF, but it does not uh, clearly, like, I cannot understand <laughs> uh, if it's uh, like a, when we want to use the orchestrator to talk to the Redfish, uh, do, do we expect uh, we like uh, send a, a path to compose a system uh, using resource blocks, or do we directly uh, find those uh, mailbox commands uh, map the resource? So I don't understand Redfish either, so I uh, <laughs> completely agree. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, so DMTF has published a, a, a mapping uh, table um, basically translating the, the, the CXL management commands and, and, and properties into uh, Redfish elements uh, and attributes, and um, but, it's, but it, that's more um, from the context of uh, individual endpoint discovery and, and, and management, um, which is, uh, I, first of all, I think that's the biggest first step, right? Because even without dynamic composability, um, even just from an inventory management uh, through identification perspective, you're going to want to be able to pull um, uh, pull the you know the uh, serial numbers models, all of that, get get, get a picture of of what's running and, and, and health from that before you start dynamically moving things around. Um, uh, I will say uh, on, on the, the, the question of the switch, uh, I, don't, I don't think anyone's gonna get to play around with the CXL switch till 2025, 2026. Um, but there are already demos on YouTube of multi-headed devices. Uh, and uh, Tanzanite, um, they're, they're part of, uh, Marvell now, um, but they uh, uh, they actually had a um, uh, they've had a YouTube up of dynamic capacity device on a multi-headed device um, for a while now. So um, an FPGA type system um, uh, doing pooling on a multi-headed device. I, th I think that'll be the first place uh, to look at this. Um, I would also say that um, the OCP Composable Memory Systems Group, they're working on exactly what you're talking about, developing a POC system, a reference architecture, and an open source project to, to release to kind of kickstart the industry on this. So um, I, I, can, I can share with you some, some resources there. I'd, I'd encourage you to participate there, yeah. yeah, yeah can, can, can I add a, add a comment? comment? Yeah, go ahead. I, uh, hey, okay, uh, John, go to Mike right now. Uh, just FYI, the Open, the Open Fabrics, Fabrics Alliance, Alliance is, also is also doing, also doing some, some fabric, fabric manager work. work. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty primitive, but it's but open. It's open. Uh, uh, and it involves the Redfish, Redfish discovery and representations and things like that. And it's basically uh, warming, warming over uh, Gen, Gen Z stuff, stuff. Gen Z fabric Gen management. management. Right. But anybody, but anybody who wants to know what all is going on in this area ought to know about that too. Yeah, thanks, John. So now, in this one session, we've, we're up to three independent implementations. I don't know if there's any, is there any form for these, for these, for the software, these groups to work together, um, or there, are we just going to are we entering a world where everybody's going to have their own FM? Uh, I I would think that OCP would probably be the the best place for an, an open 
Fabric Manager implementation come out. I would expect from OFA something more orchestrator based. Um, yeah, though that, that's that's what I'm thinking. I mean, um, the CXL consortium and DMTF are just going to push out specs and implementation notes and white papers and, and stuff like that. The actual work, I think, would be done by those those groups. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I think it will be great if I receive all this information. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so thank you. Discussion. That's everything that I have. Okay. Thanks.